problems. Well, from what you uh, watched of my video, and I'm sure you've seen some shit on Twitter from El Presidor, what do you think about Wings possibly being kicked off PKA, if it's true? Because it might just be a big prank. Cause, well, here's the thing about wait, wait, wait. Wings. Before you get started, let me let me say this. A while back, the Wings of Redemption... Listen, listen. Before you get started, let me say this. A while back, Wings of Redemption didn't make the podcast because he went on a date, and they, the rest of the PKA... He went on Listen, the rest of the PKA host, they made a prank against the fans of the show saying that they got a sponsorship with NVIDIA, and they were all getting these badass like capture cards for their computers or something or processors or whatever the hell it was. And they were saying Wings wasn't involved because he wasn't there. And I think he was in on that. And they made everybody think that the podcast was sponsored now and this and that. And it would turn out to be a big troll. So I'm guessing that Wings being kicked off PKA is probably just a big prank on their part against the fans. That's and what does this have to do with the Opresador? I'm saying you probably saw some of what was going on because of him talking about it. Well, I mean, what, 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 do you think it's a fake or do you think it might be real or what? Well, I know Wings has a history of mental problems with uh, video views, how he whines and bitches about how he doesn't get enough video views and all his IRS problems. But I think his IRS problems he did to himself. I think that was more or less cleared up by now. Okay, but anyway, I mean, I can't... Wait, you're cutting out again. I said I give Wings uh, support in his weight loss program or whatever he's doing trying to lose weight. He's a great guy, and I like Wings' channel. I'm a fan of Wings. I subscribe to his channel and follow him on Twitter and everything and got him on Facebook. But I think... He always complains about video views. I mean, he's got 50,000 views per video. I mean, well, how much more does he want? He's got 750,000 subscribers. I mean, what is the problem with this guy? He's always whining. Why is he so depressed all the time? Because he said his views have dropped <laughs> from what they he's used to be. He's got 50,000 fucking views. What the fuck more does he want? 100,000 per video? Well, look at Woody. He, Woody's got a million subscribers, and he helped start Woody's Gamer Tag. I got, I, I got like 340 subscribers, and I got like 10 views per video, and I'm picking up a little bit. Getting, what? Every once in a while, I get 100, 150. I'm not complaining. Well, look at it from his standpoint. I mean, look at Woody's Gamer Tag. He helped start Woody's Gamer Tag, and look where Woody's at. Woody's well over a million subscribers now. The one video where I was attacking Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America, where I was coming at them because they were going after Elton Carry, Texas, that video almost got 700 views. I'm happy. And the one video where, where I was attacking the Americans Against Tea Party for being anti-constitutionalist, they were labeling me and labeling Duck Dynasty Phil Robertson for being a pedophile, that video got 7,000 views. <laughs> 